Hello, welcome to Coffee Dreams class. Uh, please, if you are new to this channel, please subscribe and be part of this class. And my subscribers and everyone watching my video, thank you very much for your time. Uh, today's lesson, we are going to construct hexagon given the diameter. How to construct hexagon given the diameter. So get yourself ready. Uh, take your drawing board, your pencil, your set squares, and let's construct this hexagon. L our le last lesson we const uh, it was um, how to construct hexagon given one side, and today we have um, the diameter of the hexagon is given. So we are going to construct hexagon given the diameter. So the first step we will draw our diameter of the hexagon. We consider this light to be the diameter of the hexagon. So we have this point to be A, we have here to be B. Now, um, this is the diameter of the hexagon. So, with this method, after drawing this straight line or after drawing the diameter, you bisect line AB. Bisect line AB. So you open your compass more than half, more than half of the line, you draw your arc. And we bisect, we draw, we find the center. can draw a faint line like this yeah we have this so we have this point to be point C we have here to be point C then then after getting this point to be point C that is the center at point C you open your compass to either A or B A or B to get the, the radius of the circle then you draw a circle you draw a circle like this so after after bisecting like AB, which is the diameter of the uh, of the hexagon, to get point C, that is the center. To get, then you measure uh, other a AC or CB, which is the radius of the circle, because that is the half of the um, half of the diameter, which is the radius. So at point C, then you draw a circle. Now. Um, at point at point C from point C if you want if you want to get an angle or oh, we know the straight line here that is like a B is 180 degrees and we know um, hexagon is a polygon with six if, um, hexagon is a polygon with six sides so if we have like a b to be 180 degrees so we are going to try set try set like a b we are going to try set this semicircle here so we are going to uh, try set this angle the semicircle here 
so we will we will take the radius which is like which is like a uh, which is c b or a c you try set for at point a and point b you draw an arc that at point at this point you draw another arc like this this is how to try set uh, 180 degrees so we have here to be D then we have here to be point E now let's use the same radius to try set the other semicircle here so at point B the same radius you try set this as well so now we have point E F point F and point G now we have these points now when we look at the circle let's consider this semicircle the the line a b is 180 degrees so this semicircle is 180 degrees and we have try set this semicircle so we have three parts here each of it is 60 degrees and we have done it down here the same um the same angle because it's halfway so it is same now we have here also we have three parts here so now we are going to construct or we are going to draw our lines to form the hexagon so now at point a you draw a line to point e then at point e you draw another line to D then at point D you draw another line to point B then at point B you draw a line to point G then from F To G, then from A to F. So we have our hexagon. So this is how to construct hexagon given the diameter. And you know, in geometry, we know a circle is 360 degrees, so half is 180. So when you try set these uh, two. You know, when you trans you transect these two semicircles, you get three paths, and with this you can draw your street line. So this method is very simple. You first draw first draw your diameter, which is like A B. Then you bisect the diameter like A B to get the center, which is point C. So when you measure like A C or um Point AC or CB will give you the radius. Then with that radius at point C, you draw your circle. When you draw your circle, you have you, with the diameter, it, the diameter divides the, uh, the circle into two parts. So we have two semicircles. So when you try set each of these uh, semicircle, then you get a uh, nice transition. You get three parts here and you have another three pass here with that we will get we get these points to uh we got um point um i uh, point d 
y and here as well we have point f and point g so this side we have three paths and here as well three so when you draw your lines from like when you draw your lines which is like a e uh e d uh b d b g f g and a f then you get all your six sides of the hexagon so this is how to construct hexagon given the diameter keep on drawing without drawing there will be nothing on this planet earth so let's continue to draw to keep the world moving thank you very much please if you are new to this channel please don't forget to subscribe share and like this video please be part of this class and let's keep the world moving and my sus subscribers thank you very much for your love and support please continue to watch this uh, video share to your friends and all the technicians all the engineer uh, eng all the technicians those who are doing engineering uh construction technician all all these technicians or not engineers please try to um to share this video with them and let's keep the world moving thank you very much and i will see you in my next video bye this is coffee dress class bye